Hello, welcome to the fourth and final day of Golf Monthly here in Japan with Mizuno. We've come to the Gifu Hashima train station on the, on the bullet train, about an hour away from Osaka. And from here, we're going to be taking a short ride to a town called Yoro, which is where the Mizuno Technics Lab is. Now, this facility uh, has a lot of different operations. It's where the clubs from the precision forging stage at Chuo come to be finished off and then assembled to be sent off around the world. Uh, there's also some other different facilities and operations happening there as well. They make baseball bats, they assemble tennis rackets, there's also a museum for all the Mizuno clubs that uh, have appeared down the line from the 1930s, so lots of cool stuff to go and see. Let's go and check it out. Hello, welcome to the final video blog entry from me, Joel Tavern from Golf Monthly here in Japan with Mizuno. It's been an absolutely fascinating experience today, really did encapsulate everything that Mizuno is all about in terms of the attention to detail that they uh, really invested in. Uh, you go to the finishing plant which we went today uh, to see that finishing process and then the assembly process to see the attention to detail that they go to, uh, how efficient the process is in terms of getting the clubs in the door, packaged up and out the door to the to travel all around the world and to see uh, the amount of different people that come into contact with every club that Mizuno make. Gives you a newfound appreciation for everything that goes into making Mizuno wines and really does go a hell of a long way to justify the price tag that they offer, you know, that mid to premium price point. If you knew what went into to make a Mizuno wine, you certainly be prepared to pay those prices. And as an MP5 owner, um, I really have got a newfound appreciation for the craftsmanship uh, that goes into making these wines. The experience as a whole has been absolutely incredible. Uh, the Japanese people are so friendly. They're so focused on what they want to do. Mizuno is a brand that is all about that attention to detail, that craftsmanship, that heritage. And you can see that in the designs that they produce. You know, they're all about looking good, but also feeling and sounding good. Feel is such an important thing for the brand, and uh, they seem to improve on that year on year. Uh, and it's no wonder, given the amount of technology and, and the amount of um, craftsmanship that goes into creating uh, these irons. And following that process from that six metre long rod of, of metal all the way through the Chuo factory and then into the Mizuno Technics facility where we were today uh, to see the finished product uh, really was an eye opener. So I hope you've enjoyed the video blogs that I've been doing. Um, I've really enjoyed doing them. This is something new that uh, we at Golf Monthly are going to be doing much more of. Thanks for tuning in, I really appreciate the support and um, this is Joel Tavern signing out. Got a five o'clock flight tomorrow so I need to get some sleep so I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.